What's up weirdos? Objectively, catching child predators is a good thing. Like no one's really arguing that those people should just be allowed to just go keep doing what they're doing. But this year, a streamer on kick named Vitaly, uh, which by the way, if you know like OG YouTube, you know him. He used to do like <laughs> farting on the at the beach prints. Like the annoying side of old school YouTube. Leave us alone, you fucking creep. And this year he has become a streamer on kick where his whole thing is that he'll like trick somebody into thinking that they're messaging a kid and then they try to meet up and then he's there. And then, oh, it's like, oh, we got him. And if it was just that, it's like, okay, that's to catch a predator, fine. But when you watch the videos, when you watch these streams and you see the guests that he has on these streams, there is a very cursed feeling. Something that should be like, oh yeah, they're like vigilantes, they're doing good. It really should feel that way. But when you see these clips, you're just gonna feel like something's off. And that's what I'm gonna talk about today, why it feels off. The first clip right here is Vitaly and Lil Pump, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, that guy. And the guy in the middle who is bugging is the alleged predator who they, you know, they, get, they got him. But just let me play it and then I'll provide more context. Uh-huh. Ah. Yeah. That's how you're gonna be taking an ass in prison, <laughs> boy. Ah. Say sorry to the chat. The chat is mad right now. Cause <sighs> say sorry, chat. Say sorry, chat. No, really confident good. like a man. Just pretend, sorry, pre chat. pretend there's no hot chip in your mouth. Ah. Sorry, chat. Say sorry, oh, chat. Sorry, chat. Ah. Sorry, chat. Sorry, chat. Yeah. Now, when that pops up on your feed, is the feeling, ooh, good. No, it's very, like, haunted and it feels dark and awful. Oh, you're gonna leave it, I'm gonna put it in. That's the best part of my asshole. <laughs> so that's what he does. He'll do this to predators, just get in there, squeeze it on their hair, and then he'll, like, feed them a hot chip just to torture them, I guess? More, 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 all of it. So that's what's happening in that video. The predator got his hair nared off and then a hot chip, which by the way, that's funny, that's fine. If I heard about that, like some brother found somebody who was trying to be a predator with their younger sister, and then they shaved off their hair and fed him a hot chip and then took him to the cops. You hear about that story and you're like, fuck yeah. But when you see it done for entertainment and Vitaly is sitting there going, say you're sorry to chat, say you're sorry to chat, Do it for, say it for chat. It becomes clear that the reason he's doing this is because he has found some somebody who can be fully dehumanized and nobody can criticize him for torturing them and being violent and like th that is what he's doing and it's for entertainment and if you look at the comments on the clips when they get posted you'll see stuff like this alex said i think this is more entertaining than calling the cops <laughs> Uh, no, that's kind of the whole problem. It shouldn't be entertaining. That person should be in prison. He'll also do things like this guy who we saw also eating a hot chip a second ago. He made him drink his piss. Drink it. Do not spit. I can't, I can't, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't need to watch that. So that's the general context of what this is. But there is so much behind why this is like completely just fucked. And it really started coming to my attention when I started seeing the celebrity guests. Uh, we saw a little pump already, but there was this one that popped up that I thought was really interesting because of who it is. So this guy in the blue is the alleged predator that they caught. And I'm saying alleged because I'll show you something in a second that it's like, are these people like, there's some sketchiness. But that's Vitaly on the right in I guess, I don't even, I feel racist to even say what he's dressing as. Like, I, I don't, I, I can't believe he's doing that. But on the left is Akon. You might know him from the, I just had sex, or his, you know, illustrious music career, or actually I'll save the last or for after I show you this video. Uh, look at this. No, they won't let you out. <laughs> thank you. No. No, no, thank you. Yeah, no, but you do, hold on. Huh? You're literally getting locked up, bro. No, please, because like, He's that was your introduction. Oh. You know what they do to people like you in jail here? Do you know what they do to people like you? Yeah, he was singing to him, serenading him for a little bit. You gonna get locked up! Which is objectively hilarious. Like to get a celebrity, like a artist to come and sing as this, like that is hilarious. Still feels like this is not taking what's happening seriously. Kind of feels like it's making a mockery of it, making it into entertainment, but you know, it would be kind of like, this is so crazy. If you didn't realize the last or of Akon, look at the title of this article here. Akon, I want to sincerely apologize for dry humping that teen girl. Yeah, that's the thing of like, you know him from this or this, or when he dry humped a teen girl and apologized for it. In a statement released to Associated Press, the R&B singer responded to being caught on film dancing in an aggressively sexual manner with a 14 year old girl live on stage in Trinidad in April 12th. 
And he's over there going, you know what happens to people like you in jail? Do you know what happens? Uh, well, Akon, that kind of should have been happening to you if you weren't so rich. But first I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Rocket Money. I love Rocket Money because it helped me find out that I have been getting charged every single month for Apple TV Plus. I have not watched anything on Apple TV Plus since Severance. I don't even know what else is on there because I never use it. And Rocket Money is the personal finance app that can help you cancel those subscriptions because they safely and securely identify reoccurring charges and they're able to cancel cancel those unwanted subscriptions for you. Like you can cancel them from within the app of Rocket Money. You cancel other subscriptions. It's so easy, I love it. And for somebody like me who, listen, when I'm doing customer service calls and they're like, uh, are you sure you wanna cancel? I'm always like, I don't know, cause I feel embarrassed. I don't know why, but Rocket Money eliminates that. You just tap a couple buttons in the app and then it's canceled. It's for real saved me so much money because I probably wouldn't have canceled a lot of subscriptions if it wasn't for Rocket Money helping me find them out and then cancel them. So go to rocketmoney.com slash filmcooper or click the link in my description to get started today for free. That's right, you can use it for free and then you can unlock even more features with premium. But I really do recommend it. Rocketmoney.com slash filmcooper or click the link in my description. Try it out for free. Now thank you for that and let's get back to the other stuff. The full apology is he said, I want to sincerely apologize for the embarrassment and any pain I've caused to the young woman who joined me on stage, her family and the Trinidad community for the events at my concert. It was never my intention to embarrass or take advantage of my fans in any way, especially those under the age of 18. That is why we tried to make sure the club didn't admit anyone under 18 in the audience. Somehow that standard was not met. Yeah, I don't know if you are aware of this, Akon. A 14-year-old kind of just looks like a 14-year-old. Now, how old was Akon in 2007 when this happened? Oh, about 34 Ooh. years. Okay, so he's a decade older than me, and he's looking at a 14-year-old thinking, eh, it seems fine. Uh, yeah, I, I can definitely, dr uh, I don't want to say because I don't want to say it. 34, 34, but he didn't know. He, he, he definitely didn't know. Guys, make no, sure you follow can't. right now, guys. Make sure you follow right now for the craziest content. Please. Listen, please. stop saying please. You have more vocabulary than fucking please. Talk to me like a man. Talk to him like a man. Yes. So why would What would make you think that was the right decision for you to come here? I just like want to hang with him. That's it. That's but you said milk me. What does okay. that mean? Wait, milk you, what? You milk protection? what? Milk your titties? Yes. Oh, milk your fucking titties? No, Starting off that clip with make sure you guys follow for the craziest content. I'm here with somebody who dry homed a 14 year old on stage as a 34 year old and said, I didn't know she was underage. And I am with him on his team trying to catch a predator. It's so crazy. Everybody follow. Guys, make sure you follow right now, guys. That is cursed, especially while you are wearing a headdress. Hey, Vitaly, where are you from? Oh, Russia. Not an indigenous land where they would wear headdresses. So it's kind of funky for you to be doing that. Now back to the Lil Pump stream because there's something here that's kind of a segue to a larger point that I want to make about Vitaly. Uh, but let's admire Lil Pump's tweet right here. Catching these disgusting pedophiles. <laughs> we live in a sick world. What should we do to the pedos next? And then you watch this clip that he posted. Huh buddy? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this is our song guy, bro. Oh. <laughs> oh, <I'm serious? laughs> he hit him with the, I don't want to say it. Hocked, I don't want to say it to a guy who didn't do anything wrong, but he's just he's spitting on him. Like, can you call the cops? Do you have to like revel in this? It's so clear that they're doing it for entertainment and for content and for clout and not actually to get these people behind bars. Like they're not actually good people who are doing it for that reason. It's not that at all. I'll get into that more in a second, but there's like so many points I want to talk about. That's something that I'll get to later because let's look at this real quick. Yes, you got a little pump right there shaving off bro's head while Vitaly is tweaking out of his mind on the couch. If you are watching this for entertainment and you're like enjoying this, like, oh, I can't wait to tune into the next Vitaly stream, I genuinely think that you are like not a real person. This is my impression of people who consume this content for fun. <sighs> like, how is this entertainment to you? It's just because you like seeing torture and humiliation and violence. It's not because you actually like seeing predators get caught. Because the stream is so clearly just about the craziness. By the way, let's look at another clip. There's no world I can get to all of them. But remember from that clip, him like tweaking on the couch. Remember that. Look at this Looney Tunes ass bullshit. Oh, what? Uh, Like he's just shooting him out of a couch like it's a cartoon, like what? This is a person who allegedly was trying to meet up with an underage kid. I mean, obviously they're underage, they're a kid. And they're like, hey, we've got this person in our house and we can do anything to them because if they try to press charges on us for assault, then we'll just say, well, what were you doing here? And they won't be able to say anything to that so they can't say anything. So we can do whatever we want. So then it's just like, we'll have fun. We'll, we'll, we'll fuck around. We'll put them in this little house and go crazy with them. 
And that's the point. When people like me criticize this justifiably, because this is very, very open to criticism, their response is, what, you, you don't want us to do it with Beto? By the way, no, I definitely want the worst for all of the predators. But what makes me feel weird is people making entertaining content off of torture and humiliation and violence just because they found someone who is like fully dehumanizable. Because you can be like, well, they don't deserve any rights at all because they're up. And you know, honestly, honestly, uh, honestly, my reaction a little bit to that is like, no, for sure. But the entertainment and content aspect of it, while you yourself are a piece of shit, which we'll get to in a second, Vitali, and are collaborating with other Predators. Yeah. Akon, I don't want to say anything that's going to get me in trouble, but you did dry hump a 14 year old when you were 34 and your excuse was, I didn't know. It's like my criticism isn't coming from a place of thinking bad things shouldn't happen to bad people. I want the worst for bad people. But you know, could they go to prison and you not launch them off of a couch like your fucking Bugs Bunny? Or other clip, here's a, another alleged predator that he caught. And as we're watching this, I just want you to have in the back of your mind the question of what is this actually doing to stop children from being targeted by predators in the future? Like what actually is this doing? Come closer, come above. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, we got somebody who's trying to meet up with a kid. Do we call the cops right away? No. First, we're gonna make them get under a cow and squirt milk in their eyes. Uh... Now, when you're watching that, are you thinking to yourself, these are the actions and decisions of a stable-minded individual who is operating completely on a clear, uninhibited mind? I'm assuming not, and I just want to show you some proof that that is the case. Look at this little clip right here, because it provides a little bit of context for why he's like doing stuff like this and milking, uh, milking a cow onto a predator. And all of the other crazy things that he's doing. Just keep that in mind and watch this. Oh, Alan, you have my fanny pack. <clears throat> Please. Hey, hey, Look a little hey, 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 your life. Did you hear that? A little bump ski? I don't know if any of y'all are having a brat summer this year, but a bump? A bump ski? Charlie XCX famous cocaine user has a song, 365, where the lyrics are bumping that, 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 bumping that. Okay, 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 here we go. When I'm in the club, yeah, I'm bumping that. When I'm at the house, yeah, I'm bumping that. 365 party girl, bumping that. Should we do a little key? Should we have a little line? So that's a song about cocaine. A little bit of, and I don't know if you heard the term bump in that a little bit, but a bump, a bump ski, if you will, Vitali, is a little bit of, and this is him on stream. He's doing this on stream. By the way, it's on Kick, which is the streaming platform for people who think that laws, regulations, ah, accountability. And if you think that's a little bit, and if you think I'm reading into it a little bit, check this part out. Hey, 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 bump ski. Hey, <laughs> oh, shit, we're live. He said, Oh shit, we're alive. Then he takes a little pack out, hiding it over here, going doo -doo 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 -doo, and he unscrews something, takes a little bit of something out, and then before he puts it back, he hides something in his left hand right there, puts the little container back in. But Vitaly does unfortunately have a history of acting like a crazy person when he's on drugs and being a menace and violent. And if you don't remember the story, I wanna take you to a little bit of a podcast from Roman Atwood. What a fucking callback. OG YouTube is coming out like crazy with Vitaly. So the story that he's telling here is one of him being addicted to mushrooms. And you know, you're supposed to take like 3.5 milligrams. I've never done it. I'm too scared. But like apparently people take like 3.5 and he was taking 30 milligrams every other day. And in this clip, he explains the story behind his arrest for assaulting a stranger who's a woman. Doesn't really matter that she's a woman because it's just like you shouldn't assault strangers, but he is, you know, a you know fucking built Russian dude who was high out of his mind just beating up a random woman. So this is him explaining it. Here and I, I the older I just have flashbacks from this. I see this girl jogging and she's the TMZ article lied. I did not jump out of the bushes. She's running towards me. Uh, last thing I remember is she, I, I'm, please help, please help. And I tried to hug her and she pushed me or whatever. And and uh, yeah, the you know, I hit her and I realized what I was doing on top of her and I was like, what the f 
back and I'd even run back to the house. The article says I tried. The article says, the article says, I didn't even do this. I didn't even jump out of the bushes. I just sprinted full force at her, hugged her, tackled her to the ground and then beat the shit out. And then they have a uh, video, by the way, of his arrest of this exact story. He is in there with like those bright colors behind him. This literally looks like a shot out of good time. By the way, what y'all think about good time? Not the point. And then you got bro out here getting arrested. Look at this. Your boy can stay back there. Put your hand on the car, man. No, put your hand on the car. 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 Yeah, he's out of his mind. He's completely out of his mind. Put your hand on the car. Vitaly hearing, Yeah, I'll shake your hand, young man. I just got finished beating a woman senseless. This is the exact type of person that we need fully on drugs, chasing down child predators. Actually, I don't think that. I think that that's a job for, I don't know, people who aren't Vitaly on kick. It's insane that that's a hot take for some people. Like a hot take that disgusting criminals should be dealt with by people who are. Actually, I don't even want to say this, like, because what, the police? I fucking hate, like, the police? No, fuck them. But, you know, also, not Vitaly! Not Vitaly! Sorry, Russian, Vitaly. Yeah, I don't think you should have a dude coked out of his mind who has a history of being a fucking crazy violent person when he is on drugs. I don't think he should be the one dealing with this. And then also live streaming it with Akon who dry humped a 14 year old when he was 34. Saying stuff like, follow for the craziest content. Guys, smash that fucking subscribe bell. Now drink my piss. Hey, by the way, unrelated, you should subscribe to this channel because I won't ever make anybody drink their pee pee. Not a single person. Also, and I cannot believe I'm showing a clip from this podcast. I, oh my God, hate this person so much. He is a child predator. This is a guy, Adam22, his podcast I'm gonna show a clip from, but let me just be fully clear. Like, by the way, you're a man writing a blog. Come on. I don't want to be a misinterest, but you have a blog. But his blog, by the way, was about crazy sex adventures. And one of them was going to a country so that he could be with a underage kid because it was legal there. Is that true? Let me double check that before I just say that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He, uh, yeah, began dating a Canadian girl when she was 16 years old and has a lot of accusations of hooking up with 16 year old girls while on tour with, uh, is this a crossover episode? Lil Pump. Now, I'm not saying Lil Pump did it in that article but he was on tour with Lil Pump. But he denied those accusations, but he did, you know, fully write a blog about the 16 year old and how it was like crazy and cool. So anyways, just had to say that up front. But in this podcast, they're talking about how Vitaly is addicted to uh, injecting something so that his wiener will get crazy hard, which whatever. Do you I know have? Vitaly? Yeah. So we hung out with him in Miami and he has this backpack he carries around 24, hey Terry? And he's like, I need it, I need it, I need it. He can, he's been shooting up for 10 years. Really? He can't get hard without it. So he mm -hmm. just carries his shoot up needles. Yeah, this is the guy who is leading the whole catching predators, I guess, revolution on streaming. Not a great look, especially when you're picking the guests that you're picking, like, by the way, this guy, The Game. I don't know if you know the rapper, The Game, uh, but look at this clip real quick before I describe to you the horrors that he has committed. Look at me, man, look at me. Whatever happened to you in your life, whatever. I don't know what these people don't know, but you know, whatever happened to you in your life, bro, you gotta be a man and stand on that. Get past that. You can't be seeking out little kids and taking advantage of kids. I, I know. Maybe somebody took kid, maybe somebody took advantage of you. So maybe you feel like you gotta take advantage of somebody else, bro. That's not the way, homie. They're talking to a guy who they just cream pied in the face. Uh, who they just pied in the face. It's a pie that's made of cream though. I, I don't know how to say it. I don't know, I get embarrassed when I talk online. But he's got pie, he got pied in the face by the game. And then the game is being like, come on man, you gotta be a man. You gotta grow up. You're really gonna come out here and embarrass yourself trying to get with these little kids? Be a man. That's why I cream pied you in the face a second ago. By the way, the game. I have a question for you. You wanna talk about the claims where you impregnated a 15 year old girl? We want to talk about that? This is from the CW39 Houston. Shout out Houston, Texas, H-Town, hold it down. But yeah, those are the accusations that he uh, conceived a love child, as they say, with a 15 year old from the United Kingdom. I think a love child is a weird thing to call this. And this story is all alleged, of course, the game. This is all alleged. I'm not saying that this is a, a fact. But the article that came out that was like accusing him of this that allegedly like had talked to the girl, the teenager, even the article itself said that he didn't know that she was 15. It was at an 18 and up club. Although I will say you 
can definitely tell when somebody is 15 versus when they are in their late 20s. That's that's true, and that's who he should have been looking at at that time. Oh, but that's not it for the game. The game has been in the hot seat before for similar allegations, which makes the recent claims seem plausible. In August of 2017, the game was outed by a 16-year-old Instagram model and YouTube vlogger named Kenza. The model posted a screenshot of her Instagram messages, which showed the rapper messaged her a black card. She also claimed he asked for her number. Fans of the rapper pointed out that the teen's bio stated she was 16, while others attacked the teen for her provocative posts. Hey, this 16-year-old's too bad. No wonder he did it. That's the defense. Um, oh. Yeah, but here's a screenshot of it right there. So the game DM'd me on her Snapchat with him replying to her post with a black heart with her bio saying she's 16, allegedly. But that's not it. Oh no, he came into fire even before that. When he was caught in the park fondling Instagram model India Love, who was 19 years old at the time. Okay, that's legal, creepy, but legal. Love claimed that their relationship started when she was 17, but later retracted that statement. Uh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Now I can't show the picture right here because he has got his hand in her and he's, then he like, uh, that's what's happening in that picture. Yeah, so there's that, but wait, there's more. In 2016, a judge ruled that the game was liable for sexually assaulting Priscilla Rainey, then a contestant on She Got Game, a VH1 reality show starring the game. Yeah, VH1 reality show where it was like all about dating the game. Back when I was making videos more about like reality shows, by the way, my second channel, I post a lot more stuff that's like reacting to the button, playing Love Island games, like playing Dress to Impress. So if you're looking for more like, just like fun, chill, like reaction and gameplay type stuff, that's on that channel. And I might make like reality show things, or maybe I'll make reality show videos here. Anyways, I remember doing research and seeing this and it was like kind of on my list of things I can make a video about. I did not know that this happened on She's Got Game. By the way, he was liable. The judge ruled him liable. Do you know how hard it is to be like ruled as liable in a sexual assault case? The odds are not good for the victims and he was still ruled liable. But what happened is Rainey, the girl, claimed that she had agreed to go on a date with the game, believing it would be on camera. You know, since it's a reality show. However, when she met the rapper at a Chicago restaurant, there was allegedly no production crew. The lawsuit further alleged that the game showed up to the date highly intoxicated on alcohol and drugs, which was typical, and sexually assaulted the plaintiff on several occasions that night. Yeah, and by the way, if you scroll a little bit down further on the game's Wikipedia, you have this Vitaly collab also listed under his legal issues and controversies. It says here, game also threatened the person to go kill yourself before the supposed predator used the victim play. Okay, so he told this person to go kill themselves. When he himself, you know, not hypocritical, no? Vitaly, I think that you're kind of missing the point on these collabs. Really, you should be doing these collabs and then it's like an entrapment for the person you're collabing with. Cause it seems like the people that you choose kind of are also the predators. So you got Vitaly, you know, high on stream when we know how he acts when he's high. Clearly unstable. Look at this clip. Bro, look at me, bro. Look at me. I have tears not running down my face, bro. I'm tired of this, bro. He knows he's guilty. He doesn't even want to leave. He wants to get arrested. And that's a real man right here. Kind of. So what are you planning on doing? Okay, I'm just gonna cut it off right there. Myron from the Fresh and Fit podcast. Myron, the ugliest motherfucker. I, we shouldn't talk about how people look. But Myron is objectively a terrible, terrible person. This is not a video to go all into that, but Myron from Fresh and Fit podcast. Yeah, just Google his name. Plenty of assault allegations. Tries to be besties with Andrew Tate, but you know, gets scorned by him every time because even Andrew Tate doesn't like him because he's so fucking lame. Anyways, also calls women gold diggers, but then signs up on sugar daddy dating sites so that people who are specifically looking for people with money like, yeah, obviously they're a gold digger. You're going on gold diggers are us and trying to find women. Like, yeah, there are people who are gold diggers and you are literally seeking them out and then calling them gold diggers. Like that's who he is. Anyways, not the point. Vitaly sitting there crying his fucking eyes out going, look at me, I feel tears running down my face. I am like losing it. Look at me. I kind of question if he's actually crying or if he maybe did like a little like smelling salts or something to get it going because it feels very performative. Like, why are you crying? This is a predator. Why are you crying? Be a professional. If you are actually doing this, like you should be a professional. You shouldn't be sitting there crying because this person is going to go to jail for being a predator. I don't know why that would bring you to tears. Also, I think the captions are wrong. He knows he's guilty. He doesn't even want to leave. He wants to get arrested. And that's a real- The captions say here, and that's real bad, but I'm fully hearing- And that's a real- And that's a real man right here. Oh, he knows he's guilty. He wants to get arrested. That's a real man. And then you got in the comments right here, somebody saying, can't forget when Vitali beat up a woman, a thousand likes, and he got ratioed by this response. If you love pedos, just say that. That's not the point. 
that is not the point of any of this. And if you'd open your mind for a little bit, like you would understand that throughout this entire video, I've never once said that the predators should be, you know, treated more nicely. Like they, they, they be treated nicely. I'm saying that the stuff that you're doing is just because you want to do it. And also you are high out of your mind and you should not be trusted in these situations. And you're doing it because you have found somebody who can be fully dehumanized so that you can, you know, get no flack for being a violent, torturing humiliator who is teaming up with other predators. Like, I mean, I guess, you know, you got to fight fire with fire, but also can't you fight it with water? Yeah, and this comment right here, it's like, I don't understand what you're talking about. Honestly, Vitali is saving kids' lives. You never know, he might have saved a kid from being raped and killed. I give him props, he's making a difference. Now, this is a good time to bring up the old show, To Catch a Predator. That was a show that ran for a while, but when it ended, one of the big criticisms that like led to its ending, and one of the big like pieces of conversation around it was that it really was kind of a play-by-play -play way of showing people how to not get caught. Like you watch the show and you're like, oh, okay, well, I'm not gonna do that. Like they always catch them by doing this. And now Vitali is doing the exact same thing. He's showing these predators what not to do so that they can, I guess, be more effective. Also getting comments like this. Why do I feel bad though? Yeah, that's another one of the problems with this. When you treat an objectively disgusting, vile person who is doing something that is absolutely horrible and they should face extreme punitive consequences. When you're taking somebody like that and then you're treating them the way that Vitali is on a live stream and like making it funny and making it entertaining and then people's reaction is like, oh my God, this is kind of a lot. Like I kind of feel bad that they're making them do all this. You're making people feel bad for child predators. Is that what you're like wanting? Like, look at this. Look at, look, look at, look at the caption of this clip before we even watch it. The moment Vitali felt bad for the child bread after hearing his story. And you got the game right here, certified, I don't want to say it. You were the kid. Yeah, I was the kid. So, hey man, listen bro, I feel bad for you bro. Yo, I feel bad for you. Cause the kid just said that, you know, this is a cycle that's repeating because he was as a kid. When you are making content that is resulting in clips with sad emotional music, with Cashin saying, oh man, we feel bad for this guy. And the people in the video who are predators, <laughs> allegedly, uh, not allegedly, like he was found liable by the judge. But I guess, allegedly, I guess, found liable by the judge. So can we just keep that in mind? You got him saying, I feel bad for you, man. That's the content that you want to put out there for these disgusting child pred, like really deep, dot, dot, dot. Sorry that happened to you. Get better, do better. 221 likes. I don't know if you're aware, this is not the predator who's posting this video, so I don't know why you're talking in you know, second person. You? Sorry that happened to you. It didn't happen to me. This comment right here, my prayers to this young man. So on the one hand, you wanna say, this is actually, you know, completely making people just terrified to be a child predator. Like they're being fucking, they're destroyed and tortured and humiliated like nobody would ever wanna do it. But then also, you're treating them so badly and making it so extreme and making it so objectively like dark and like torturing and humiliating that people are feeling bad for them, leaving comments like my prayers to this young man. And this comment by Ronnie Clem, it hurts, I've been there, get help, please don't repeat what happened to you, my heart goes out to you, bud. Heart, 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 69 likes. It hurts, I've been there, I've been there? Sorry, Ronnie, I've been there? Uh, 911. Ronnie Clem over here with uh, my hope is in the lamb. Revelation 717. And I am not with her with a sound that is Trump 2024. Yeah, okay, so shout out Donald Trump. Seems like you got predators who've been there on your side. That's cool. Posting AI Kamala Harris oh, bitch. with move, bitch, get out the way. I can't show what the title of it, but it is the effing, I'll say it, fucking. And then R-E-T-A-R-D-E-D. -E Fucking R-E-T-A-R-D-E-D. -E hey, by the way, dude, I just wanna say, when you are publicly commenting on child predator videos saying, been there, I don't know if it makes Trump look super good when you're posting in support of him. Hey, hey, I definitely have moments in my life where I really want kids. And that's why I'm voting for Donald Trump. Like really? By the way, go to votelikeabeast.com to see if you're registered to vote and see what candidates you should vote for and what aligns with your beliefs and your city and uh, go to vote like a beast. No, I'm vote for real. Fucking vote. Like, please, please, come on. Don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. Just vote. Come on. Now, on the subject of does this actually do harm to the predators, let me show you one clip uh, from Vidali.
Guys, guess who is our first predator? You won't believe it. The predator we caught with Lil Pump, the first guy, this is his third time getting caught. He's coming back for the third time. He is getting arrested. You guys gonna be our decoys? Pumped up, we're ready to do it. Yeah, I'm gonna pause it there, I've seen enough. The third time? We've caught one guy three times, and now you're calling the cops to arrest him? Now you're calling the cops to arrest him? So every other time it's just been like, come on, man, don't do this again. Next time, don't do it. That is so stupid. That is so dumb. What is the point of finding these child predators if all you're gonna do is embarrass them, humiliate them, torture them, and then just let them go and say, hey, we really gave you a good scare here. I hope you don't do it again. Luckily, I don't know if it's luckily, this dumbass got caught three times, but the fact that you're catching the same guy three times, the fact that you're having a trilogy of one child predator, it just shows that you're not actually doing your job. Because if you were doing your job, the child predator would be in prison, unable to get caught three times. Does that make sense, Vitaly? Or is your brain a little bit on the substances so much that you're not really understanding? Let me say in a way that maybe you'll like actually really listen to. Vitaly, pajalusta, prekreti upotre bliat narkotike. And if you don't speak Russian, that is Vitaly, stop doing drugs. Pajalusta, pajalusta. Also, he is being sued by somebody that he caught in one of these videos for physical and mental abuse. Not shocking. It's a 17 count lawsuit where the plaintiff claims he was wrongfully accused of being a predator and was physically and mentally abused in vicious attack. This is just a screenshot of the top of it. There's 17, but the first six are defamation, liable, defamation, slander, false light, invasion of privacy, misappropriation of name and likeness, misappropriation of name or likeness. The plaintiff claims that he joined the website for adult entertainment and was engaging in consensual adult communication before being entrapped by Vitali. He basically claims that Vitali put it in a light where he was trying to meet up with a 15 year old boy when he was not actually doing that. It says in the lawsuit, in the viral video, defendant is shown supposedly catching a predator, plaintiff, in a sting operation to catch predators. The video depicts defendant and his camera crew chanting, certified lover boy, certified pedophile, and then stating that the person whom plaintiff met was a 15 year old boy, dude. This defamatory portrayal was intended to incite public outrage and destroy plaintiff's reputation, leveraging defendant's notoriety for personal gain at the expense of plaintiff's dignity and privacy. And I would say, yeah, that's definitely true, especially if he wasn't actually there to do it. And that's why I've been saying like allegedly throughout this because bro is getting sued by somebody who's like, I'm not fucking, I didn't do this. Like I, I didn't do this. Now he could just be suing him and it's like not real. Like, of course that could be the case. But if he's doing all of these streams, it's not absurd to think that potentially somebody is getting falsely accused and having their entire life ruined. That's the thing. So, I mean, this entire video, I've just been getting into so much of why it feels dark and why it feels haunted, which is why it's crazy that his response to this criticism is this, what he's, what is happening in this clip. By the way, we get a little bit of a special appearance from Steve Will Do It, one of the smartest people on the internet. Making money off of it, you're, you're exposed. They're, they're jealous. It's the jealousy. When you get back on top, everybody wants to tear you down. Yeah, that is, you should not say that. That is the Yeah. Uh, I don't know if the takeaway of this whole, like, catching predators thing should be, I'm on top. I'm famous. Y'all jealous. Y'all jealous, dude. I'm paying Akon 500k, even though he dry humped a 14 year old on stage when he was, uh, again, he did sincerely <laughs> apologize. Yeah, you're on top. You're on top for that. Everybody's jealous. And saying like, oh, we're exposing pedophiles. We're exposing them. And then letting them go so that they can do it again and again. And you just catch them three times in a row. Dog, by the way, you're lucky that that pedophile is dumb as f alleged, is dumb as fuck. Because what about the other people who you let go with a warning after a strong life lesson from the game. Somebody who you shouldn't Google with controversy. A strong talk from the game and Akon and Lil Pump really is gonna set these people on track. So let's get them out of here. We'll only call the cops when it's a third time. I'm not saying that they do that. I'm saying like maybe they call it every time, but clearly if it's happening three times with one person, the charges aren't sticking. So potentially you should be trying to do something that's not getting money off of the entertainment value of this dehumanized predator. And maybe you should be focusing on actually making sure that there are meaningful consequences for them and that they can't just get out and then do it two more times. And by the way, you're lucky you catch them those two more times. I wonder how many people have been caught by you and then have gotten off because apparently the charges don't really stick from your videos and then just not done what they did before and then met up with other people because they have been trained now to operate more discreetly. Have you considered that, Vitaly? No, because you're just focusing on how you can be on top. I gotta get on top.
up, man. They're bad. I used to, I fell off a while ago, back when I was on 30 milligrams of mushrooms and I beat the shit out of a strange jogging woman. I fell off then, but I'm on top now and they're jealous, man. No, nobody's jealous of you, Vitaly. You literally look like your life is falling apart before your very eyes. You look like a tragic figure. You do not look cool. You look pathetic. It is really, 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 really bad what you are doing. No, not giving predators consequences. That is cool. Again, if I see one, you know, but what I'm not gonna do is set up my fucking camera and live stream it, pour milk on that motherfucker's face, make him eat hot chips and go subscribe for the craziest content. This shit is fucking insane. That's the difference. If you're actually caring about catching these people, do it offline. If it means that much to you, do it offline. Don't ever use the excuse that you're doing it to expose and catch these people when you're clearly doing it just for entertainment because you yourself are saying, they're jealous, they're jealous. Nobody is jealous of you, Vitaly. You are just too high to understand that everybody is looking at you like a fucking pathetic idiot. Like, come on, man, come on. Get off the mushrooms. At least 30 milligrams of it, like, don't do that. And potentially, maybe you should start vetting the people who you're having as guests on your predator catching streams because it seems like you got a high ratio of predators. Allegedly, allegedly, except, you know, judge found him liable. And Akon did admit that he dry humped a 14 year old when he was 34. But again, it was a sincere apology. Vitaly, you just gotta understand that what you were doing cannot be defended as you're a vigilante, you're Batman. That's not what Batman would do. Let me ask you this, let me ask you this, because a lot of people say like, this is vigilante justice, let me ask you this. I'm gonna do an impression of you, Vitaly, and I want you to tell me who it reminds you of in the famous blockbuster hit, The Dark Knight. Tell me who this reminds you of. Hey, everybody, we're out here with a little guy over here, <laughs> and we're gonna get him. Is that Batman or the Joker? Because in my opinion, when I'm watching these streams, I'm not looking at somebody who is after justice. I'm looking at somebody who seems drugged out of their mind, having a blast torturing and humiliating people for entertainment and then also kind of just letting them off. I'm not trying to let them off. We're, we're trying to give them actual consequences. Okay, well, if you're catching the same guy three times, the charges aren't sticking, you fucking idiot. You're an idiot, Vitaly. You are an idiot. Just accept that and get offline. And if this actually matters to you, then do it offline. But that's not gonna happen, is it, buddy? Nope, because you're addicted to the money and bumping that. Please subscribe. I wanna try it, bite it, lick it, spit it. Pull it to the side and get all up in it. Kiss it, ride it, can I fit it? Charlie likes boys, but she knows I'd hit it. Knows I'd hit it. Charlie call me if you're with it. Yeah, guess, 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 gu